So we have been looking at uh, these automation rules and uh, today I want to basically do something uh, that I think you will find uh, useful. So let us say you have linked issues and I'm sure you have linked issues in Jira because uh, that is what you can do quite easily and it is always good to have these issue links because uh, maybe one issue is blocking other issue or one issue is related to other issue. So you, keep, you, you may want to use links if you're not use them. Now, you can do a lot of wonderful things with links if you want. Of course, when you link two issues, uh, you can uh, go from one issue to other, to other issue. You can see that, you know, this issue is blocking the other issue. So what is that other issue? Now today, what I want to do is I want to basically write, uh, not really, I mean, we are, we are not really writing any code, but uh, we are using automation. Uh, we want to use automation to add a comment on linked issues on some event. So let us say you have one issue which is blocking some other issue. For, for example, let me, let me open, uh, let us say, uh, <clears throat> one of the issue. Uh, let us open one uh, bug. I do have a lot of bugs on my instance. So AN46 is one one uh, bug that I have. And uh, basically we have uh, some comments, which is fine. But what I want to do is, I want to do something to an issue which is linked to this issue. So let us say you have this bug, which is probably blocking a release or blocking something. Uh, so there is there's, there is a link. So let us link it to something else. Let us say we have this issue linked to, so let us say this issue, this bug blocks, maybe uh, BT28 something, or maybe BT, um, or maybe, maybe uh, NGRP9. So basically this issue is blocking these two issues. And what we want to do, if we do something on this issue, let us say uh, you update this issue, or there is there is any update on this, you want to convey that message to these linked issues. So for for doing for keeping things simple, what we'll do, we'll add a comment on this issue, and we'll basically copy the comment. I think that can be a good interesting uh, use case, and I'm sure you will uh, you you can definitely find uh, a use case, especially when you're using Jira service management and uh, it is linking to the development activities and you want to, uh, uh, let us say you have an incident which is linked to a bug. So when people are commenting on a bug, you may want to reflect that bug, that, that comment on the uh, original incident. And of course, a lot of other things. So let, let us create a rule. And uh, for creating a new rule, I will use a simple trigger like when you comment on the issue, I think, uh, do, we, do, we, do you want to use comment or uh, Maybe we can also use on hold. Let us say when the issue is moved to on hold, maybe you want to copy the comment or let us just keep it simple. Let us just use issue commented. So this is the, this is the trigger. Now what you want to do, you want to link, uh, you want to basically add a comment on linked issues. And for doing that, you need to, you, you need to basically use a branch rule uh, or related issues. So if you click on it, you can then see the type of related issues. For example, uh, you can work on subtasks, you can work on parent, you can work on stories, epics, but we want to use uh, linked issues. You can also use uh, JQL, but linked issues is fine for, for this example. And uh, we also want to select the link type um, in case you have to. I think it is good. I only want to do it for the uh, do it for the issues that are using the link type called block. And uh, that is fine. Now, what we want to do now is we want to go to the, uh, I mean, right now we are talking about, talking about the linked issues uh, of type block. And then we have to add a component within it. Now, we, 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 we have to, let us say, do some, 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 some very simple thing like adding a comment on those linked issues. So we are basically, you know, we are basically writing uh, some kind of, some kind of an automation rule to sync comments, not really sync, we're just doing it one way, but I think you can also do it both ways. Uh, but be careful. You don't really want to create like a loop. Um, so let, let us add a new action. And for this, I will add comment on issue. So this is fine. Mm -hmm. So this will work, I guess. Let us first test it and then we'll modify something. So comment added on the um, issue. And uh, since we're talking about uh, the issue that uh, will trigger this, so we can actually refer to the linked 
issue that is actually triggering this specific issue. So what we can do is we can uh, basically refer to that uh, uh, to, to, to that particular uh, uh, issue on top where the comment will be added. And for, for doing that, we need to use a smart uh, value called target uh, issue, I guess. I guess I, I am going to take a look at the, at the uh, smart field document, smart value documentation. So what I want to check is uh, trigger. Do we have something like uh, a trigger here? So we are looking at uh, linked let me check the list. I'm sure it is somewhere in the documentation, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out the exact uh, method. Ex exact, yeah, I think so. We, we have to use a trigger issue. So let us copy it as it is. And uh, I think uh, we had this correct. So this will basically insert the target, or not target, but the issue that is triggering this automation, but it will insert a key here hopefully. And uh, uh, we, we, we also want to let us say copy the last comment that was added. So comment, uh, or maybe the last comment was um, this, and we can probably add it here. So for the comment, we can use again a trigger issue. But we have to use, uh, I think, a dot comments dot last dot body. I will verify this because uh, I don't really remember each and everything. So uh, I think we did this in uh, one of the video. So comment dot body is fine, but we can have comments because uh, um, we can have multiple comments, right? So we have something like issue dot comments dot last dot body. So we need this, and which we did, but of course we are we are working on uh, the comment from the trigger issue, and that is I think uh, I think it looks good, and we can add something like comment on uh, blocked issues. I think yeah, this is fine. Turn it on, and uh, let us validate this, and. Uh, check whether the rule is working correctly or not. So this is of course the issue. I may want to add a comment. Okay, so let us add a comment here. This is the comment that I am adding on the trigger issue. Let us see if it is copied to linked issues or not. I think, I think, I think this is fine. Let us go, let us add this comment. So we just added a comment and what I'll do, I will open both the linked issues. Uh, so let us open BT28 and NGRP9. And let us hope we have a comment here. So I will try to, try to scroll down once the issue is loaded and it looks good. It looks good. I think uh, it now says the comment added on the issue. We can see the comment, uh, not the comment, but first the issue key with the status. So we have up to date information and we can also take a look at the uh, comment that we just copied, the last comment. And uh, we can also go, go to the other issue and we have the same thing. So it works and it works wonderfully well. And uh, I think uh, this is this is a good uh, automation. I think uh, people can use it for doing a lot of wonderful things like we always do with Jira. Okay, so uh, that was all I wanted to talk about and share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you, and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.